this was the logo. Okay. Um, yeah, so the organizers was an um, association called the Ecologists Without Borders Association. Um, maybe I could point out from the starters um, the difference between um, Slovenian um, organization and Estonian was that um, in Slovenia nobody got paid. Not even the persons who were doing this for many, many hours a day didn't get anything in return. But in Estonia there was a difference because people who were working eight hours or more per day for this project, they got paid. <laughs> so it was completely um, voluntary. voluntary project. Okay. So the goals were actually similar, but um, so we set up three goals. So together we released 200,000 volunteers. We managed to do that even more. Um, for the, it was the largest environmental project in Slovenia today. Um, for the actual cleaning action, um, we first had the mission to say to create the first registry, a national map showing locations of, of as many legal dumps as possible. This project was going on for uh, about half a year, um, and everybody who participates, um, they, they could just. Um, we had to send the GPS coordinates and picture was uh, very wanted um, for uh, every legal dump site. And then we had we have a certain website in Slovenia, it's uh, similar to Google Maps, but it's more precise for Slovenia. Um, and um, they uh, went into cooperation with um, this association and they created a special map only for dump sites, which were then um, they separated by, by the size, there were different dots. I mean, the red was, was a really big one and stuff like that. Okay, so we managed to create the first registry of all the dump sites. And the next goal was to, yeah, so to clean a, at least 20,000 tons of legal dump waste. Um, actually, the, the final figure was a bit smaller, but still very impressive. Um, yeah, besides all the cleaning, um, the one goal of this project was also to spread awareness among people. Um, so they would put trash out, don't need trash behind, um, to recycle their trash, stuff like that. Um, yeah, and to educate the public, so improving the attitude to the waste. Yeah, um, in Slovenia, every year we already had this. Um, environmental project every spring was the cleaning actions uh, going on in the different municipalities um, but of course it's different times but they're all in spring like in March or April or stuff like that and uh, there was also a goal for this organization to put all the other cleaning actions into this one big day so, and they also managed to do that okay so how to how to persuade people to do what we've done. So the PR is going on for about half a year. Um, they were organizing these uh, roundtables, which some professionals talked. Um, they created some professional and social events that were also the subject. They've organized many, many press conferences. And the most important thing was that they had really frequent media appearances and the uh, writing of articles. So there's, um, and in the end it says, it's a very, I think, at least in my opinion, it's very impressive that in only a few months, in Slovenia worked in the media more than 2,000 times. So it was really everywhere, in every newspaper, on the television, everywhere. So we had, of course, many individuals decided to cooperate, but also companies. Companies um, actually adopt their own dump site. Company would go and clear their dump, so they yeah they adopted it. We also activated uh, schools, uh, gardens. They were cleaning around schoolyards and stuff like that. Um, the army was of great help. Um, had about I think some somewhere about 3,000 soldiers um, who were yeah firstly uh, they were responsible for the transportation 
because they have means to do it and um, of course some larger, harder things to move around. Also for seniors help as they could and also the police. <coughs> okay, so one thing about organizing. So the, on the national level for the whole country it was this uh, association that I was, look, well, I was talking about before. It was the volunteers at the Ecologists Without Borders Association. They handled everything on the national level. So log yeah. logistics, PR, finance, dump site registry, awareness group. And there were lots of people involved in this national level. And then when, uh, when you go down the chain, we had then first regional coordinators um, that were responsible for a few municipalities. So that was the communication. From, it went from national levels, it went to regional coordinators, and from regional coordinators uh, you had one or two people on the local level. In Kamnik, um, there were two of us, we, were, did, did, we did this coordination, um, and also um, a woman from the municipality that was coordinating the already existent cleaning actions so we could put everything in one day. It was very interesting, actually it was uh, just a funny story about this. Um, of course for this you need a lot of um, plastic bags, gloves and stuff like that. And it was interesting that um, we had it in a warehouse, um, for a, muni a municipality warehouse. We had it um, about a month earlier. And then two weeks before the action, you won't believe what happened. People broke in and actually stole all the bags and gloves. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that guy thought he's gonna be doing with that all, all the all the bags, but yeah, it actually hiding happened. bodies, hiding bodies. Yeah. <laughs> so we actually in Kamnik we had really a problem with these bags, but we we managed, we managed to get them all. I mean, just enough so it's it it okay. Yeah, so um, it was a big problem with logistics. Okay, so you have many thousand volunteers collecting garbage. Now what? What do you do with it? So they called uh, waste management companies, which were helping to transport. Uh, we had Union Roads Agency and um, a few companies that were dealing with a specific type of waste. So um, three Union companies like uh, Dinos um, make sure they were picking up metal, um, used cars and everything that was made for metal. Um, then you had the slow pack, uh, which was um, which got the packaging waste, so um, a lot of um, And Zeus camp company, which cleared the electronic and then electrical and electronic gear, batteries and no better, yeah, batteries and dangerous materials. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the communication on the last day among the individuals, the coordinators locally, was okay, maybe the other way. Um, so the communication from the national level to the local was via SMS, uh, short text messages. Um, they set up a system, and all the local coordinators were in this database. And we got uh, messages in the morning first, okay, greetings to all, this is a test, okay, everything is working. And then uh, after, by the day, we were, get, uh, we were sending by SMS the number of participants. So we already had a um, clear number all, all the time. And uh, we got back um, um, all overall results of how many in Slovenia. And by uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, we were sending... Um, data of how many tons of garbage we did in so it was per municipality so let me say just for Kamnik uh, we gathered uh, about 3100 volunteers which is a bit uh, uh, below the average of Slovenia but still it's quite all right um, okay yeah and the individuals um, were gathering I mean there were small groups of these people um, we coordinated with us, um, firstly, um, where to put the garbage, so that we communicated with all the um, all the transport uh, tra transportation uh, stuff that uh, they were picking up the garbage then. Okay. 
Okay, and so the, re the results were quite impressive. Uh, so 270,000 volunteers gathered in Slovenia, which has a population of 2 million, about 2 million. So it was like 13.5% of the entire population. Um, we gathered so 14, almost 15 tons uh, of garbage, which was a bit below what we what, what the goal was, but still it was all right. Um, yeah, and interesting thing was when I read the um, final financial report, it came to a really big figure, uh, like 10, 10 and a half million euros. And um, in here, it's everything. It's, um, it's about, I think, um, seven, seven and a half million euros was the estimate value of all the volunteers that were working on that day. Um, all the rest money went for um, PR. Um, we had uh, shirts. Let me bring my shirt. Here. Um, shirts and every other promotional materials. Um, like that, and in the end, um, you know, there was of course something for the public. We had a party in Ljubljana, there was a big party, some concerts and stuff like that. Um, and we got all this extra money from different donors, sponsors, and stuff like that. Um, okay, yeah, and the result is also awareness. Now, probably every Slovenian knows this action, knows this, this project. Um, and um, we are moving into the direction of really recycling things, um, waste management. So people are probably um, living more with the nature now, or at least we are trying to go this way. Um, we are also cooperating in this um, Let's Do It World 2012 action. Um, and by that time, we still. Um, yeah, uh, again, when I said before that we're doing the registry of illegal dump sites, we're doing this again. Uh, now it's even more um, interactive because they've prepared um, applications for smartphones. And, uh, I have one on my cell phone if anyone wants to check. But um, you just open the open the program when you're there on the illegal dump site. You just do it like this. Take a picture at the same time in the GPS coordinates, and it sends to um, to a common database. So and it's with, with for iPhone and for high yeah. eight purpose. Yeah, yeah. And we're still looking developers to actually to improve it. It's better. It's like really better right now. Yeah. There's bits and bugs. Yeah. But it was a really nice touch for me because I'm more in IT and okay, it's cool. Before I had okay GPS coordinates, writing them down on fields and then going home, typing it on my computer, okay, and transfer the photo from my from my camera. And also okay. there is uh, in, the, in the website, when you go in the Estonia Global website, yeah. there is like you can upload geotag geo photos and it will take the coordinates from the photo. Yeah, so that's I the think they're probably the similar to Slovenia because they also have a new webpage with all this stuff in it. It will be later connected, like all the world uh, these mm. things. We'll send one way the data with the one the global map. Yeah. So all the Slovenia and map. So the system is really great. This for mapping. Mm -hmm. They've done their job really well. Um, okay. <coughs> oh, th there's one interesting thing. It was also about the PR promotion of 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 just in Slovenia. They prepared a video game, which also had um, certain I don't know I think rewards for the best player. Um, the point was that you have here in the bottom you have different bins and then it's like Tetris. The waste is coming down and you need, you need to sort them on. <laughs> and now, Boyan. Yeah. No Boyan. <laughs> uh, There's also really good. I have two video tapes. One is Slovenian actually. Um, Let's do Slovenia CNN, and the other one is Let's Be Slovenian Day. No reason for panic. A terrible disaster. Fucker is still loading, because I, I said yeah. it's played before. And no, this one too. 
Ott mi kell felszínkörnek? Okay, yeah. We're just gonna change the order now. Boy, of course.